I'm mic'd up. It's mic'd up. It's mic'd up. It's you, you didn't bring it's your jumper on. No. Oh. I bring you your merch, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> It's hard to get good help. Oh. Popping stitches already! <laughs> it's alright, I pulled a hole in mine the first day I got it. Oh, no. There it is there. Better send that one to review and then package back up. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Backyard Builds. Uh, on the ute today. We need to get some stuff done on the ute. We've um, been busy doing other things here and there, but got a small list of things to do that we would like to complete and then nice to complete by Rises of the Murray. Um, so we're just gonna hook into it, really. Yeah. We're trying to belt the tubs out, which means dropping the arse of the car out to get the wheels off. We're getting pretty proficient at that now, which is handy. It'll make track turnaround time pretty quick. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So we're gonna get the strip tacked into the driver's side tub today. We're gonna get the passenger side fitted up. And hopefully tacked in if we've got enough material. That's the aim of the game. Tom, cut the strips again. I also cut a little bit off the strip for another job I was doing. So one's slightly shorter, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We'll see how far we get. Oh. All right, let's get into it. We have merch too. Don't forget to buy. If you'd like to support the channel, please buy some merch. It helps get the ute actually done. <laughs> it 100% funds the ute, trust us. <laughs> Fit. The tub's still got a fair bit of play in it, so we'll be able to manipulate it to fit it in. So we're going to work from the front, probably just go through tacking along the top and then um, beat it into place as we go and then just weld her up. Just like that? That quick? Tap, yeah, just off it goes. Laser weld. Uh, not quite. The work hasn't supplied me with one yet. No, no neither. Sorry. So I'm still on the old manual, manual, manual tig. The old fucking glue gun. All right. Nice jumper. Isn't it? Oh. Especially on these cold Canberra mornings. So what do you work out? Work out. It's a bit shit to do with this. much as the tub is kind of straight and true, since we panel beaded all the dents out, it's, it's just changed the shape a little bit. So we're gonna change tactics here. We're gonna take this back out, tack our strip to this, sit it back in from underneath, and then try and scribe the strip to the cut here. So we can then sand this to suit. That should come in. Should go together a bit nicer, because at the moment it's just been a pain in the eyes. So yeah, we just uh, cut it back apart and go again. Go again. So 
wasn't really a mistake, was it? No, it just wasn't the best way to do it. We've never tubbed a Valiant before, have we? No, no, if anyone, no, people have done it. So we make the mistakes so you guys don't have to. <laughs> That's what we tell ourselves anyway. That's what we tell ourselves. So oh, you it's guys a, can point out our mistakes, I'm sure you will, but... It's not a lie if you believe it. <laughs> What's today's code word? We're going to put the code word mid-episode. Mid oh, yeah, there will be a code word, but uh, they'll have to tune in till the end of the episode, won't they? Oh, we'll put it in mid-episode, then people have to watch it until at least the middle of uh, it. Keep them hanging. All right. Of this Any reason for welding on the outside? Uh, one, doesn't matter what we see on the inside, couldn't care less. Wheel's going to be there, it's going to get covered in burnout rubber. Uh, two, it's going to be slightly easier for us to dress the top of the weld off on the top of the tub because we're obviously going to try and flavour it back to patina. Back to patina, eh? Hey? Back to patina. So we're just going to go park it's like out. It's like a bad Back to the Future movie. Back so to Patina. So we're going to seal the car up and then just go and park at the farm under a tree for a couple of weeks. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> they really like get it in there quick. Yeah. Um, we're also going to try and dress the tub up a little bit. So I'd like to weld on the top. It's probably going to suck in. And then we'll grind it all off. On the back side, dress it up. We'll probably use a little bit of the English wheel. Try to get the level it back out. So what's the, what's today's tech tip? Um, I'm going to use MIG wire. I'm not going to MIG it up, I'm going to TIG it up, but I'm going to use MIG wire. This is literally straight out of the gun. 0.9 silicon bronze MIG wire. Um, the reason I use that is it's just a little bit easier to play with. I can run my amps pretty low, I can feed it in pretty quick. A little bit harder on bigger gaps, but you know, make do with what you got. Um, it's also cheaper. <laughs> Buy a five kilo roll for like 35 bucks. So you got miles and miles of the stuff. And that's all I use. I just literally just feed it off the gun, cut four or 500 mil pieces. And the other advantage yeah. is obviously the filler melting point being 0.9 as opposed to 1.2 is a lot lower. Yeah. So as Tom said, you can run that, that lower amperage which does put a lot less heat in the panel which makes yeah. it easier to dress at the end it's also softer like you've seen us use stainless wire for things before stainless wire is actually quite tough once it's welded Welds really nice for a gal and stuff because obviously it's a clean the, the pure pool, metal the, but the pool is pure but yeah it doesn't dress out as nicely like it's quite a hard and it tends to crack whereas this is quite soft and it sort of moves you got a little bit of stretch and it moves with the with the weld as well you need to have big forearms <laughs> so how many um how many amps are you gonna run do you reckon how many herbs probably well we'll start at 50 see what it does probably that'll probably be quite actually 50 is way hot i might back it down to that's top fuel tune shit man 30 or 28 <laughs> thereabouts that's what i've run in the past for doing the same stuff um, I'll fiddle around, I tend to play around with my amps a lot and just get it comfortable. One thing we didn't touch on is welding sequence. Any sequence you're going to run in particular? I might go through, get tacks in between all these, probably get up to like a 5 to 8mm gap between my tacks and I might quickly just buzz it off and then I'll just go through and weld it in one long go. Um, the more tacks you've got, the closer together it is, the more less likely it's to walk around. And when I say walk around, you'll get, as you weld between panels, you'll see it like move like that. 
and it just makes it a whole lot harder to dress and weld. The better it is tacked up, the better the finished result. Let her eat. Let her eat. I didn't bring my helmet, otherwise I'd roll it. Oh, yeah. That's what he says every week, viewers. Oh, I dip that straight away. Oh, well. it off, dressed it, sanded it, and then ran it through the wheel, um, English wheel, just gets that curve a lot nicer, uh, makes sure everything's flat, so it actually works as like a hammer and dolly. So now we'll go through and we'll weld the whole thing up, and then start putting them in the car, where the fun really begins. Explain why all of them? Uh, just to um, knock the top of the world off, make not so gnarly the grind, sand marks, sorry. Just to blend it in a little bit better. I'm not really going to worry about the hammer and dolly them too much, they're pretty close. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty smooth, they feel pretty good. Um, like it'll, give, it'll give much the effect of like these dents and stuff here once it rusts up, so. Yeah, it's all part of the patina. One of those rat rod potato barn finds. Yeah, the yeah, purists love them because it rat rod potato barn finds. Simon's favourite hashtags. Yeah. So is this going to fit? Don't know. are in. They are. Uh, there's still a bit more welding to go, a bit more sanding, but that'll probably happen off camera and probably be next weekend. Be a little bit of a water palooza. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Bring, I'll bring my helmet over. Um, I might do the tubs while Tom continues on the floor. So yeah. we'll probably film the floor, patch panels and finish up in there as opposed to me welding tubs. Yeah. But um, yeah, so as you saw, we yeah, TIG welded it up, dressed it out, sanded it. it. We've left it rough, 
on purpose. As much as we wanted to have it nice and smooth so you couldn't see it, we actually don't mind it being a bit rough. Sort of adds to the dings and the dents like it would have had as a ute. We'll probably fake the colour in on it, or we might just leave it. We'll get all that welded in properly and smooth off so you won't see it. Yeah. But the top will just start to blend in and start to rust and, and look as it is, really. A bit of red oxide, a bit of bone coloured paint would be good as gold. I'm trying to get a colour match rattle can for it. See how this goes. Yeah. So yeah, tubs are pretty much sorted. There's a couple of little infills underneath, but we'll probably do that when we've got it up on a hoist one day. Yeah, someone borrowed some of the strip for another job. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we're on to the front floors, finishing those up. And when they're finished, we'll probably move on to a bit more of our piping, try and finish that turbo, weld that manifold out. Yeah, we might have something in the pipe both for Chrysler's on the Murray. Yeah, we'll see how we go. But we'll keep that one to ourselves for now. But for that to happen, that needs to be finished. Yeah. So, for those of you that have watched all the way to the end, yeah, we've got a code word. You should know this. Today's code words. Tubs. We didn't pre-plan that. No. <laughs> but yeah, tubs. Connected the mind. Tubs. Tubs. T-U-B-S. Comment it below. We'll pick two out of the comments. We'll send you a free sticker pack. That's it. That's enough for this weekend, guys. But uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching on Backyard Builds. Tubs. Tubs. T-U-B-S.